New York fugitive 31, who'd been on the run for a year, is spotted by cops at Walt Disney World. Oh, New York City, I've been on the run for a whole year, and boy are my Timberlands tired. <laughs> a fugitive from New York on the run for a year was apprehended in Walt Disney World of all places by the very officer who had signed the initial complaint against them is a small world, a small Disney world. Quayshawn, sorry, Quayshawn Burton, 31, has been on the lam since November when U.S. Postal Inspection Service officers attempted to arrest him over an alleged identity theft scheme that he used to falsely obtain about $150,000 of COVID loans. That cop had to save up three, four years just to get to that vacation. And here this guy pops up bippity boppity boop. <laughs> Surprise is not the word for it. Last year, Burton was not at his Brooklyn home. When agents arrived to arrest him, his mother informed him that her son would not be self-surrendering. <laughs> Didn't you get the memo? Federal Poster Inspector Jeff Andre wrote that Burton had established a complex web of identities that made his crimes difficult to investigate, reported the Daily Beast. He has clearly demonstrated an ability to mask his true identity to evade law enforcement. So too has he demonstrated a willingness to lie about his identity to avoid arrest, he said. You know, like a criminal does. <laughs> But Burton's skillful evasions were ultimately not enough to stop the stroke of fate that placed Andre and the alleged fraudster in one another's path at the happiest place on earth last month. Definitely not the happiest place on earth if your caseload physically shows up to vacation with you. <laughs> On October 20th, 2022, Andre was on vacation at Disney World when he spotted Burton in the resort's Animal Kingdom at just past 3 a.m. I'll never forget it when I saw him sitting there like he's not on the run. Andre says he recognized Burton by the distinctive H tattoo on his neck. The postal officer promptly alerted the Orange County Sheriff's Office that a fugitive was in the park and security staff tracked Burton before a deputy arrived and found him waiting at a bus stop with two family members. He brought the whole family down there to share on that COVID money. <laughs> the sheriff's deputy reported that he advised Quayshon that I needed to speak with him about the possible suspicious activity he was involved in, and he questioned why he needed to provide his identification. It's a fake ID anyway. We know it is. <laughs> Later, I advised him he was the subject of a warrant, and when I attempted to secure him, he began tensing up and bracing his arms. I informed him multiple times to place his hands behind his back, but he refused, he said. It was additionally revealed that Burton had been visiting the park under a fake name, Duck, Darkwing Duck, and refused to acknowledge his true identity, even after fingerprints proved it after being taken to the Orange County Jail. He was handed into federal custody in late October. A detention hearing ruled that Burton could be released as long as he was kept under pretrial supervision in New York and remained subject to GPS monitoring. After strictly advising against letting this man out of any sort of custody, him ending up in Walt Disney World vacationing with his family members is the ultimate I told you so flex. <laughs> On Thursday, New York Judge Lewis Kaplan ruled that Burton should not be granted bail ahead of his trial. A trial date has not yet been set.